guys, welcome back. Um, Dr. Christopher Hood, hopefully you got that by now after watching a couple of the videos that we've been producing to try to get your mind wrapped around some of the most important health information as it was presented to me when I was younger. You know, a lot of you guys are watching the videos and you have followed us online and you've seen our, our Facebook accounts and everything else and you've heard me tell the story about how I uh, was working in pharmacy. If you haven't, I was working in pharmacy and um, was, was working locally in a hospital and I had a chiropractor change my life. This video, if you watched the last video, we talked about health and we talked about health as function in order to have 100% health. You have to have 100% function. That's what we left off in the last video, just to reiterate that point. We also talked last time about my grandparents and the importance about being proactive instead of reactive. And, and then the third point I wanted you to take on the first video is that your most important asset is your health. So in review of that, I want you to always remember from this point on, you should always be taking the time, and I hope that this comes through, to do those extra things to invest in your health so that you can begin to invest in your future. And that's just not inside the office with chiropractic care. That's also with the other ancillary things we teach, nutrition, exercise. And we're going to get into that in these videos. But I just want to take that moment as we get into this video and speak to your heart for a second and, and think about those people in your life who may be your elders that have not taken that time to invest in their health and where they are. And so as we do that, have that understanding that, again, to reiterate the other points in the first video, that number one, health is your most important asset. The number two, you have to make it a point on a daily basis to be proactive in your health and do those things to put yourself in a good position for your family and your future. Those things my grandfather unfortunately did not, but my grandmother did, which was an amazing thing for me, for my mom. And then the third point, and this is what we're going to get into here, is that in order to have 100% health, your body has to have 100% function. You know, this, this, this is an interesting uh, concept when we start teaching it because we've been taught health is about how you look or how you feel. But think about this for a second, and I'm going to get into what we consider embryology 101. So interesting enough, when we go to school, when I was in pharmacy school and again in chiropractic school, you study how the human body is, uh, grow, uh, develops, right? So, so when a sperm and an egg come together, not, not to get into reproduction 101 if your kids are watching, but when a sperm and an egg come together to form a little baby, when the cells begin to divide, you get two cells, and then you get four cells, and then you get eight, and you get 16 and 32, and my math gets really bad at that point after about 64, but they're dividing and they're doubling, right? So nine months later, you go from two cells to 980 trillion cells in that time span which is amazing when the little baby comes out and the baby's healthy. I have two little boys and I've seen this. I haven't seen the development of the cells, but I've seen the healthy babies being born. And you think to yourself, wow, that's, that's a miracle, right? Well, what you need to understand is as that baby is developing inside the mother, as the cells are dividing before the heart develops, before the lungs develop, you actually get a group of cells, and you can look this up on your own. That group of cells before the heart develops is called a dorsal hollow nerve cord. They go blastulation, gastrulation, look this up, it's a lot of terms. But what I want you to get is the group of cells, when they first group together to form the very first organ system in your body, the very first organ that develops in the body is the brain and the spinal cord. This is a medical fact. The brain and the spinal cord form first. You say, well, Dr. Chris, why are you explaining this? Because health is function. And the system that controls the function in your body is called the central nervous system and that central nervous system is comprised or made up of the brain the brain stem in the neck and then the spinal cord and it is the first system to develop in the human body bar none it's a medical fact it is not a theory and the reason you need to understand this is the way that your body functions is your brain is sending electrochemical signals down from the brain, down the spinal cord to the neck, down the spinal cord into the body, and then out what is called the peripheral nervous system to the organ cells and tissues. The heart develops, the lungs develop. This is the understanding of the uh, intellectual material that I learned in school, and then we put that together with the life experience I've had, and is the understanding of the brain and the spinal cord, the central nervous system controlling the function of the body, that radically altered my perception of health and has allowed me to be healthier in my, gosh, mid to late 40s, I'm going to admit that on this tape, than I was in my 20s because I understood about health and I understood about function and then everything from that you can apply. So why am I getting into so much information on this? Because your brain and your spinal cord control the function of everything. So for your heart to beat and for your lungs to breathe and for your stomach to digest food and your thyroid gland to regulate your metabolism in your neck and your kidneys in your low back to 
uh, regulate your blood pressure through the hormone aldosterone and for uh, cuts to heal on your hands. I mean, just think about how amazing the human body is. It is what they consider scientifically irreducibly complex. You cannot duplicate it. Now with the largest computer in the world, health and healing in your body come from above, down, and inside out. It's how the body was designed by God to function, and it is a medical fact. Now, what you need to get out of that is, is that this connection between your brain, your brain stem, your spinal cord, and your organs needs to be there for proper function, which is why chiropractic is such an amazing thing. But a lot of times when I have this conversation with people and you're just starting to wrap your mind around these details, you start to ask me questions like, well, how can someone have heart disease and not feel it? Or someone, someone has cancer and not feel it or has diabetes and not feel it. And this is what you got to understand as we get into how amazing the brain and spinal cord connection is with health and function of the body. 100% health equals 100% function. Only around, if you read the research in different various, I'm trying to put it all together into one uh, cohesive information for you, 93% of your nervous system, brain, spinal cord, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, controls function of the human body. Only around 7% of that system allows you to feel pain. So what you need to understand is that nervous system, 93% of the entire amount is running the body, cellular division. When you eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, hopefully after watching the videos you won't do that, or a piece of pizza, you got to think about four organs and five glands, break that sandwich down and turn it into living, breathing skin, hair, and nails. That takes a lot of energy and it takes a lot of ability, and that's why 93% is going towards function, only 7% going towards pain. So then you say to me, okay, you're not really describing the heart disease. So what I have to get you to understand is of that 93% that is function, right, all functional stuff, the 7% that feels pain, of that little tiny 7% of the entire system, your organ systems only feel pain when they function around 60%. So you have to lose 40% function of any of the organ systems before they actually send a signal to your brain or you cough up blood or you, or, or you, you have like pain somewhere. So, so what does that mean to you? Let, let's just imagine uh, we're going to do a graphic so you can see this. Imagine, could we all agree right now after this conversation that if you knew your heart was functioning at 100%, your cardiovascular system, uh, your integumentary skin, integument, immune system, could we all agree that if all your systems were functioning at 100%, then you knew you were healthy? Can I get a yes or a yes on that? Yeah, yes, right? So if we had a graph where at the top I said 100% function equals health, we agree. So then at the bottom, if I put 0%, like you have 0% function, what would you be? Everyone said? Yeah, that's right, debt, right? 100% function, health, 0% function, debt. So in the middle, let's say your heart, or let's, let's use a good one. Let's say the pancreas. The pancreas is the organ that um, the islets of Langerhans in your pancreas actually produce insulin. The pancreas, let's say your pancreas is functioning at 60%, right? At 60%, you know you have a symptom, something's not working right, that 60% is where most people will feel pain, or you'll notice diseases affecting the function of your systems, right? But let's say it's only functioning at 80%. Well, at 80%, you know, when do most people find out they have diabetes? When they go, oh my gosh, I'm tired, my blood sugar levels are low, um, you're amputating or, uh, uh, extremities? No, most people find out they have diabetes because they go to a doctor that gives them a blood test and they find that their blood sugar is out of whack. So let's at 80%. So at 80%, do you feel any pain? No, because you have to be at 60%, lose 40% of the overall function of an organ before you feel it. But at 80%, are you healthy? No, because they're not fun. your pancreas isn't functioning at 100%, yet at 80%, you don't feel it. And so you go to the doctor, they do blood work, they say, man, you're diabetic, or you, you have uh, blood sugar problems, they put you on insulin, they use glucophage, metformin, whatever, here is someone that is now medicating themselves at 80%. So they're not actually doing anything to increase the function of the pancreas. They're not actually altering their nutrition. They're not trying to get it back. They're just medicating at 80%. And in fact, if you do that, it's not going to get better over time. It's going to get worse. And you know that because everything in your life that you ignore, whether it's your bank account, your relationship with your spouse, your investments, they all get worse if you don't spend time with them. Would everyone agree to that? Okay. So it's a lot to teach you here, but I want you to wrap your mind around why chiropractic? Because this nervous system that's controlling the function of your body is allowing your organs to function, your heart to beat, your lungs to breathe. 
It's the only system in the human body that is entirely encased inside solid bones. So from tip to tail, it is encased in bones from the skull, the brain stem, the spinal cord, all the way down, and it's protecting you. So what are bones for? Well, number one, the spinal column, the bones do two things. Number one, they keep you standing up straight. And the way they do that is called your posture. That's why your parents growing up or my grandparents growing up said, sit up straight, sit up straight, because we can tell from what you look like in posture the length of time you're going to live. Now think about this. There's actually medical research studies done which will show you that indicate if you develop forward head posture, nursing home posture, you get a rounding in your back, it can shave 15 to 30 years off the end of your life because it interferes with your brain-body connection. So we want good, healthy brain-body connection. And health is function. So everything we're going to teach in the videos from here are going to try to improve not only the quality of it, because if you're a chiropractic patient in our office and you're coming in, yes, pain might have brought you in, but it's not your problem. We want to get your spine and your nervous system in proper alignment, because there's five words you got to remember. Proper structure equals proper function with everything, alignment on your vehicles, etc. So we want the structure of your spinal column in proper alignment, which we we'll get into in the next video so that we know that your brain and your body are communicating. We know that 100% information from the brain is making its way down your central nervous system, out the nerves to the organs, so your organs have the ability to function because of the connection. And then we're gonna start teaching you lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, stress management, so that we can line your lifestyle and your spine up with God's intentions. That's how we see miracles in the office. That's how you see miracles for your health. And it's what my grandmother knew that my grandfather didn't know. 100% health equals 100% function, and it all begins with the health of your spine. I have a mentor that said a healthy spine is a healthy you. So brain-body connection, it's a lot to wrap your mind around after this video. Watch it a couple times, because who knows what I said, and at the end of it, I hope that it encourages you, because for me, it was the missing link in my health education. No one had told me that my posture had a direct influence on my health because it's the first system that develops in a baby and it's the most important system to maintain because your brain has to communicate with your organs. I'm Dr. Christopher Hood. I hope you've enjoyed it. Watch it again. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.